In partnership with the Embassy of the Republic of Angola, the Dubai Chamber held a country focus briefing at its headquarters on Monday, the 9th of September. Following registration, attendees of the event had ample opportunity to network with potential trading partners and discuss Angola's favorable economic outlook and business opportunities, especially in the transport, construction, infrastructure, and manufacturing sectors. Angola has, in the last decade, become one of Africa's leading economic successes, with GDP per person said to have tripled, and it has one of Africa's biggest and fastest growing economies. His Excellency Abdul Rahman Saif Al Gharir, Chairman of the Dubai Chamber, urged businesses in the Emirate to move towards African markets and highlighted Angola as a rewarding option for Emirati investment. In his welcome address, His Excellency Flavio Fanesca, Ambassador of Angola to the UAE, thanked the Chamber for hosting the event, saying that his country was working to strengthen bilateral relations with the UAE. We in Angola, we can uh, grow faster. However, uh, we'll need additional uh, partnerships, additional uh, know-how, additional equipment to accelerate our uh, speed of development to achieve the objectives of the millennium and also to restore the potential of our economy that integrated in the Southern African Development Community and in the economic, economic community of uh, Central Africa can uh, be a very good contribution for the regional development as well. That means our difficulties is, are in the need we have to accelerate the development, um, economic and human, in our country. This is why we are here. His Excellency Jose Silva, Angolan Minister of Urbanism and Construction, highlighted Angola's need for investments and stressed the Angolan government's commitment to its major development plan to provide a better quality of life for Angolan citizens. One side, we need new cities, and, and for another side, we need to rebuild the cities already existed. Only with strong partnerships, public-private partnerships, we can face this challenge and these difficulties that we live with. Her Excellency Maria Luisa Abrentes, CEO and President of the Board of Directors for the Angolan National Private Investment Agency, also gave a presentation and said advantages of investing in Angola included a country rich in flora and fauna, arable land and a diversity of mineral ores. We need to have our agribusiness developed to uh, boost our uh, agriculture, the industry, uh, so we can reach these uh, goals.